Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a fresh and glowy on the go makeup. I actually have a meeting I have in like 30 minutes in LA. I might be a little late. <laughs> and I also have my friend coming in town, a lot of things going on today. So I wanna get out the door, but I still wanna look glowy and fresh. I want my makeup to last all day because I'm gonna be running around, it's hot outside. I'm gonna show you how to get that fresh and glowy look quick and easy. You can just throw in your bag and go. If you wanna see how it turned out, wait, this is how it turned out. <laughs> If you want to see how I got this look right here and all the tips and tricks and stay tuned Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell So you'll be a part of the Dom fam and without further ado, let's get into this video All right, so I have absolutely no makeup on my face except for SPF I'm gonna start off with my brows because if I put any primer on my face the brows are gonna be a hot slippery mess, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first so it grips to my skin really nicely. I have <laughs> no brows, so I'm gonna be using the Brow Trio from Valentino. This is the taupe. It has like everything you need and a little, you know, little marker to fill in the brow hairs and then this guy. Oh my God, I, I really need to do my brows at this point in my life. Ignore the little bruises I have on my face. I had a little B-Day facial, so I got some Botox and removed some of my filler from my under eye, so you'll see that there. And my birthday is this weekend, so I'm getting ready for that. My friend is coming in today to spend the week with me and I'm so excited. She's coming in from Houston. We've known each other since high school, like. 10th grade dance team days, so I'm really excited that she's coming down. You'll notice that this is such a light brow pencil for my eye, but I love the little backdrop it gives me, and it just fills everything in so fast that I just go over everything and it just it's so easy and quick. But then I'll go in with a darker pencil so it doesn't look crazy, but it still looks filled in and full, just not one dark brow. So it's not flat basically, it has a little more dimension. I'm gonna do this really quick, just fill in, sketch through my brow. And the reason why this one is so fast is because it's like one long line of pencil. So it covers a lot of space. So you can turn it on its side and just like brush it over or define so easy and fast. And then on the other side has this little marker. You can do these little brow hairs. It's not super pigmented though. It doesn't really do too much for me to be honest. I haven't found a marker that I absolutely love yet, but I'm gonna go in with my darker pencil from Brow Co. This is the Deep Dark Brown Micro Pencil. And I'm just gonna fill in these ends where the, there's no hair at all. I'm just gonna sketch through there. I finished up my brows, cleaned them up. So Laura Mercier invited me to a dinner last night for a new launch. And this was it. It's the Tinted Moisturizer Light Revealer. It's a natural skin illuminator. I tried this on my hand. It reminded me so much of an illuminating tinted primer almost. It makes your skin look so healthy and glowy. It gives you like a tiny bit of a tint. I'm gonna show you guys. It's made with these really beautiful micro pearls that kind of adjust to the lighting that best suits your skin. So I am so excited to use this. I'm gonna use it as a primer today just because it is very light. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm pretty dry around my nose area. I have allergies, so there's a lot of dry things on my face. I did put SPF on, but I'm still getting like that dryness. Anything that has this like beautiful light reflecting, illuminating glow to it, I want it. Like I wanna try it, I wanna put it all over my face. So I got so excited about this. You're not gonna get any coverage from this. It's just like a primer to me. If you have oily skin and you wanna use this, that's completely fine because it doesn't like give you this dewy finish. It is very matte, like it feels very dry, like dry on the face. And because I am a dry skin girl, I love the illumination it's giving me, but I need that hydration. I almost feel like it's too dry on my face. So I'm, I love this like protection in the illuminating glow, but I'm going to add a little bit of this watermelon glow nice in my dew drops from Glow Recipe. I do love that dewy finish because you know, I have dry skin and it's always like dull looking. So I want that like plump dewy glow. So I'm gonna put this over the top. So I feel like I can slide my fingers around my face. It's not super dry. And this is also a good one just to put all over your body. They need like a bigger bottle for me so I can put it all over. These are looking really, really good. So my skin looks naturally just glowy and healthy and just good right now without any makeup, which is what I love and what we're going for, but 
Actually, we're not going for that because I do want coverage today. So I'm gonna grab my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is my shade right now. I'm five cool. I haven't tanned. I am very pale. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this one on. I'm so excited that I'm gonna see my friend later. She's just been in my life for a really long time, over 20 years. And she's such a kind, sweet, lovable person. And I'm just so glad to have someone like her on my life. And yeah, she, we've just been so cool for so long. Even though I've been gone, we, are, we still stay connected. And I, I absolutely cherish those types of relationships. She's just such a good time too. So I'm so happy, you guys. I was not expect. I was not even thinking of doing anything big for my birthday. I told Caesar, let's just go to Disney, like me, you, and Jaden, and have a day at Disney. Like I'm a big kid. That's all I need in life. He was like, yeah, we can go like one of the days, but you definitely need like a moment for yourself. This is 35. Like I'm. This is mid 30s. You need a moment. And so I was like, okay, but I don't. I don't know, I'm not good at planning things. Luckily, somebody had reached out to my management about throwing me like a dinner and nightlife kind of vibe for my birthday and I was like, okay, I mean, why not? So my birthday ended up being like more of a celebration than what I thought it was gonna be. So I'm inviting a few good friends, people I really enjoy being around and just give me so much happiness and light and love. And I'm so happy that I'm gonna be able to have that moment now that it's like offered to me. I'm so happy that I'm doing something. Hold on, before I get into the story, we need some concealer. So I'm gonna take this milk concealer that I've been using like every single video. Have I been using not every single video, but in real life, I use this every day. This is the Milk Sunshine Under Eye Tint. It's amazing. I'm using shade one right now. It's very bright. I'm gonna just put this under my eyes like so. It looks like a lot right now, but it really isn't because it's so thin. The thing that I love about this is that it's thin, but there's a lot of pigment in there and it has a really nice coverage that gives you a dewy glowy finish putting that on caesar's mom is coming down to watch Jaden while we go to la caesar's friends coming to we got an airbnb in la and we are gonna go there for the weekend and caesar's mom's gonna come visit us too when we get back i'm hoping to all go to disney together la is always so fun i don't know if i moved back to la caesar loves it there i'm just I love Orange County, it's like suburban family life vibes and I love that. But when we want to have fun, get out, LA has every spot you can think of. You totally do not have to do lashes when you're on the go, but I like it. I just like the way the lashes amp up my look. It just makes my eyes look so much prettier. <laughs> I'm going to be doing meetings and stuff, so I want to have a little bit more something going on my eyes since I'm not going to really be wearing much eyeshadow or eyeliner or anything like that. Whew, the concentration for these lower lashes. Ever since I scratched my cornea with this one crazy mascara that I will never ever use again. I'm so nervous about going fast around my eyelashes, so be careful with your eyelashes, you guys. Be careful with any mascara around your eyes because it could really damage your eyes and be really harmful. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Happy Soul bronzer stick from Rare Beauty. I have really been loving everything that they've been doing. I feel like I use a lot of Rare Beauty now. I'm just gonna do a little contour. Side note, mine and Caesar, or Caesar and I, however you wanna say it, our anniversary is coming up this June and it's gonna be 10 years married 10 years well we've been together since for 14 years since we like met in the club but <laughs> we are actually turning 10 years of being formally married and to me that's just crazy i can't believe time has flown by like that Jaden was our ring bear when we got married it was so cute he was like four and it was the cutest thing my little sister at the time i have, a, I have an 11 year old sister she was our flower girl she was like one it's so cute! Oh my god, you guys have to see. They were she's like the tiniest little flower girl. And I'm just thinking, like, what are we gonna do? Is this a 10 year anniversary? Like this is we should do something like bigger. For the highlight, for the glow, I love a natural luminous glow. Luminous and glow are the same thing. I'm taking the skin gloss and sunset glow. I like this because it's pink with golden reflex in it. So it gives you this really beautiful peachy pink warm glow. It can also be used as blush. It's a sheer formula that you can definitely build up. I'm gonna use that for blush right on the high points of my face and also kind of just use it as a, just kind of a highlighter glow. It's just like not your 
basic glow. And I'm gonna put some on my nose. That will be our warm golden glow for the day. Oh, I love it. It has hyaluronic acid. It's gonna retain all that moisture and you're gonna have really nice hydrated feeling skin. I'm just gonna put this hydrating fine mist all over to like melt everything together and then I put more on. I'm, I'm making it such a mess, but this is the hydrating fine mist from Dominique. So this is how I set my face for a luminous all day kind of a glow. I'll take the Huda Beauty Glowish Luminous Press Powder in Tan Light. I'll take this on the outer part of my face. It's gonna set all the creams in place, but this also has light reflecting pearls in it. So it's not going to give you this flat matte look. It's gonna give you a little life, a little healthy glow. So I put that all over the outer perimeter of my face. It's tan, so it's more tan than my skin right now. It's gonna give me some color, some warmth. I'm using the Huda Beauty Tan Light Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. And it's just like a swirly powder like this. And I take a little bit of that and I'll just put it right on the cheekbone. And this also has those luminous pearls. So you're gonna be glowing. Glowing, but set in place all day. And it's not gonna look like glittery. It's just gonna look like luminous, healthy skin. And I, I just cannot say how much I love that look enough. But for my inner, like the center of my face, I don't want that to look super glowy or luminous. It just looks oily at that point. So I'm gonna set with a matte setting powder. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier setting powder, but this one is extra, extra special because this is the one I got from the launch event last night. Laura Mercier is coming out with a jumbo size setting powder, translucent powder. And this one they customized for me, but look how beautiful this customization is. Laura Mercier has been in business for 25 years, so we're also celebrating that. But this is so gorgeous. They engraved my name in there. So nice. The artwork is beautiful and it's huge. I haven't even opened this yet really big. Well, I'm never gonna run out of my Laura Mercier and it makes me very, very happy. And I love that they put this like a decorative piece on there because it's actually so much easier to open. I don't know if they'll have that on the new ones. I think this was just for the event that I went to. I could be wrong, but I, I'm not sure. Ooh, I love how it could just, I could fit my beauty sponge in there so comfortably. I'm gonna take that and press that underneath my eye. I don't wanna be glowy under my eye. Like the center of my face, I want to be very set in place. I don't set everything around there. I'll just do a little bit here. Not really the nose, because I like the nose to be glowy. And we are set in place. So now that I've put the powder on, I like to go back over with my fine mist. That way, our skin looks like skin again. It doesn't look powdery in case we put too much powder on the center. It will melt everything together so that your skin looks good. I do targeted spots sometimes because sometimes I'll have drier spots. Like I'll put a little bit too much powder in one area. So I'll try to keep it even, but if not, just spray some fine mist and setting spray on there. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes now. My eyes are gonna be super simple, you guys. I'll show you right now. So for my eyes, I'm gonna use the Transition Palette because it has every neutral you'll ever need. I love this palette. I use it every single day of my life. Travel with it. You can contour and do all kinds of stuff with it. But I'm gonna take this for my eyes. I'm gonna use Toffee and Caramel, my favorite transition shades ever. And I'm just gonna take that with a long, flat eyeshadow brush that has a little bit more fluff towards the top. And I'm just gonna drag my shadow out a little bit so that it elongates my eye. It's kind of like giving me like a contour more than anything. It's more just contouring the eye. I like to get close to the brow because it adds a little bit more definition to the eye area and the nose and some symmetry for me. So I like to do that and then I'll take it straight out so it can lift me up a little bit. If you don't want to go straight out, you can just curve around to follow your natural contour of your eye. I actually want to do a video following the natural contours of my face versus extreme contouring where I'm changing the shape. I thought that would be a really cool video to film. I don't know if you guys want to see it like half and half. Let me know if you want to see that half extreme contour, half following the natural contours of my face because not everybody wants to see like a lifted look. They just want to know how to follow the natural contours and that's a little different than doing the lifted look that I 
like to do often. And then I'm also gonna take it under the eye because I don't want the under eyes to look super flat and white, or not white, but light. And because I use kind of a precision brush, I'm going back over with a big fluffy brush just to make sure there's no harsh lines and just no particular way, just kind of go over everything. And I want my corners of my eye to have like a glow to them because this is like a more fresh glowy look. So I'm going to take a little bit of highlight. This is the Disney Princess Cinderella and Sigma collab. This is their cheek duo. It's amazing, you guys. Like I don't really care for the Disney part of it, but wow, the formula of this highlight is amazing. So I'm going to use that on my inner corner to give me some light flowing through there. Also on the nose and on the tip of the nose, like so. And because I just really love this highlight, I'm gonna put it on my face, which I don't normally do often. I'm just gonna put it right on the, like the very tops of my cheekbones, lightly. And we are glowing. So I'm gonna add some lashes. These lashes I've worn like three times already but I absolutely love them for a more natural look. These are from Araceli Beauty. I'll have them linked below. They're called Tulum, I believe. So beautiful, you guys, you, you're gonna see why I love them so much. I'm gonna put them on really quick, but before I put them on, I'm just gonna layer on this House of Lashes Crystal Clear Lash Glue. And I just put on a little bit on my eye, and then I put some glue on the actual lash too. I'm back with my lashes. Now all that's left is our lips. My lips are so dry right now. I think everybody's lips are dry at this moment, but mine are so like they're cracking and I can feel them. So I don't want anything on my lips, especially if I'm on the go. I want to grab something that's quick and easy. Like I can throw in my bag for a lip that's nourishing, hydrating. So I'm going to take this Kosa's Lip Fuel and this is in the shade Flow. It's a hyaluronic lip balm. It has a little bit of color to it. It's very natural. And you just put it on like that. I can't see what I'm doing, but and I'm sure it's pretty cute. Hold on, let me see. I love this color. This is one of my favorite natural looking lip balms from them. And Kosas is a clean beauty brand. I love, love, love. That is my entire look today. Fresh, glowy, easy, hydrating, throw in your bag, let's go type of vibe. And it's not going to move. It's going to set in place. You know what? It's gonna set in place even more when I put this setting spray on top. Hold on, let me show you which one I love. This Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray is so amazing. Your makeup will not melt, fade, or crease at all. This is such an amazing finishing spray. It's not one of those sprays that make your skin look like skin again, like the fine mist I showed you guys. This is just gonna set in place all day. So whatever your face makeup looks like, it's gonna stay like that. We are set, we're ready to go. I'm gonna do my hair, do these posing shots for you guys, and do my intro because I haven't done that yet. This is the final look. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs it up and let me know in the comments what you wanna see next. Also, I really hope that you found this video helpful. And if you do decide to recreate or do some of these tips and tricks, make sure to tag me on Instagram to show me what you've done. I always love seeing your guys' looks. Also, before I leave you guys, I always like to leave you with a positive, inspirational, motivational kind of a message. And that is to love yourself as you are right now. Everything you're going through is for a reason and it's to make you a better person. I love you guys so much. I hope to see you soon in my next video and I'm going to be on my worst behavior this weekend for my birthday. So I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.